My name is Henrique Oliveira. I'm a painter and a sculptor. For fairy tales, I'm creating a kind of corridor that would be an introduction to the show. At the beginning, there are white walls, part of the gallery space. And then as the visitor enters, they start to transform into sculptures, so like branches and forms that uh, remind of the um, of forests or like the, the theme of the fairy tale and that. In the installations, I've tried somehow to create an, an environment that you have a different relationship with the space and somehow you are back to uh, watch out. If you don't look up, you're gonna hit your head on a, on a, on a branch. <laughs> like get back to your senses, you know? No. I think that's uh, something the world misses today, I think. The usual name is Kurupira. I chose with oh, Kurupira is, is a little bit different because I, I was researching it and I, I saw this name first appeared in a letter from priest José de Anchieta, which was um, 16th century. It's originally from the Brazilian indigenous, but today is part of Brazilian folk. It's a myth that is a figure that the indigenous used to believe that would uh, have their feet uh, turned to the back. But the, the thing is that when they tried to follow it in the forest and they followed, followed the foot, footsteps, they're, they're actually, he's going to the opposite direction. The work with plywood came from my interest in painting and how painting works, where I would develop it to the thing that was uh, more about a modern painterly space that had three-dimensional way you know, to, towards to the real space, and that's what I did. Progressively, I started to break the bits of wood and they started to, they, they would remind me uh, pieces of brush strokes. What I'm showing here came from this development or organic shapes that were more where I would keep the wood of raw with the raw color and um, the raw aspect. And I started to develop uh, bulbous shapes that were first uh, a response to the architecture where I was installing them, but then they became autonomous. And I realized that they, were, they started to look like trees and I could say, well, why not to make uh, them turn into like elements that remind tree trunks. I thought it could be an interesting way also of occupying the space and creating this uh, communications between walls that I have done. You see parts of natural branches, but then the other parts there are not natural branches, but they are made of wood as well. It's not another material that's representing wood. Is it, it is the material itself. There is something about the process of recreating the wood branches like um, this uh, kind of recycling the materials that once were trees, they were transformed into plywood boards used in construction sites, dumped and then taken back and then they got back to the tree form. I think that uh, can, could be an interesting connection with the, with the story. Their work can be in different contexts. And I think that's what is interesting. So sometimes my work can be seen in urban context with people that do graffiti tend to like it. It can be in the context of land art that's completely different and they're more connected to nature and things like that. Or it can be the subject of close to design, close to architecture and, and fairy tales, why not? <laughs>